Hello together. In this little video I will present you a macro, word macro, where you may uh, insert uh, your photos into a table. So here is, here is my uh, word. First I'm going to show you how the macro works. And you may download it from my, from my website or maybe here from my from YouTube uh, link. Uh, what does the macro do? I have here my table. And I want to insert all my pictures here on this uh, table column. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so. And now we are running this macro. I set my cursor somewhere I'm working in my document. And I say, okay, my dear macro, uh, here it is. Uh, down, uh, start that macro. And now the macro says, okay, uh, which files do you want to, in, uh, which pictures do you want to um, install or, or run, insert. Now I said, okay, these several ones I deleted, uh, I selected it with my, with the mouse and my, uh, with the shift key. And when you click on the uh, control key, then you may select single ones. Now, when I installed, uh, when I said, okay, import those images, then you will see the images are loaded in the column uh, below the caption photos. You may change that uh, in your program when you download it. Okay, that's quite beautiful. And now, uh, as you see there, uh, you are also able um, when you click on this on the first row to do a little to make this a little bit more beautiful then you go to to the layout and there you will find uh, um, repeat the title now when we click on there you will see uh, the title is on every document on, on the first page uh, okay so and the code is on my on that web on the site document which is for download on my website but yeah delete this one uh, but what we also what I also do is uh, now first le let's explain how how to insert this code you may copy that stuff then you go to your developer tools uh, here on your menu on the menu you will find the developer tools if you have them act activated in uh, word and then you go to macros then you should do the following that that's what, what that i would ex uh, prefer and uh, give you an, an idea you should uh, create a new one that's by done by say a new new name for example then say create this one create a new macro then uh, when it's placed here on the normal template that's a mod normal module then take this one delete it and drop your own code in which is on the on the document and that's uh, and then you have to maybe it depends on your system you also have to go there on on extras and the, here's references and you have to add the reference Microsoft scripting runtime uh, if it's not there in the first uh, rows then you will find it somewhere click on there and say okay and then it everything is done and then you're ready to run um, now what I did I uh, I implemented it here you see um, and I will now delete one because in my document I don't uh, I, when you're there you just say okay this one let's say that's the second time first one say okay this is my new name my uh, test okay now when you are here in the system macros then we'll, you will find this test macro I will delete it after this uh, after that moment because I don't 
I have it already in installed there. And then you are able to run it, just say execute and that's it, okay? I, I delete it on my side because I don't need it. So um, you will find a link link on the YouTube, below the YouTube video. There's also the download for this uh, Word document or to the code page. Insert it in your document and when you like it, uh, then make a subscription on my YouTube channel uh and if you have questions ask me uh, and on on the code there is um uh, i always write the code this way uh you may change it that's what i want to say here's a photo the uh, the key element here is the photo the word photo in the header of a table and the description says okay when you go there you will see here is an init block and you may say there okay what is my header is maybe something else these are the centimeters how uh, how uh, what the width of this column is and then here's a starting uh, my preferred um, folder which where the where the system may start so I hope I could help you in this way and if you have some questions Call me and it would be nice to make a subscription on the channel or make a link on my website. So see you again.